enough is enough. Very dark black man calls for nationwide protest over economic hardship. Nigerians, mountains, Vincent, Alter, also known as the very dark man, a popular social media activist, has called for a nationwide protest in Nigeria due to the country's continued economic hardship. On Saturday, he announced the national, national protest in a video on his Instagram page, urging youth to demonstrate in large numbers on July 28th, 29th, and August 5th to express their dissatisfaction with the government. The activist voiced this approval of Ashwajibola Tunubu's government. He criticized the present government, citing increased food, transportation, and housing prices, as well as insufficient and frequently delayed salaries. The statement urged immediate action to demand answers from the administration, emphasizing that the people could not continue to live in such conditions. The activists called for a protest and encouraged involvement from youth leaders who can successfully represent everyone's interest with the goal of applying smart and powerful pressure on the government. So I waited till Saturday to talk about this because I know it is important and I know the information will reach everybody because Mama and Papa did for house today. Now there are day now there are dates that has been released for nationwide protest because of the hardships and the suffering that is going on in this country right now. There is date for 29th of this month, July, and there is 5th for August. We have to come out as people of Nigeria to stand up and tell the government that enough is enough because the hardship and suffering is too much, he partly said. As a person, I boldly, as I do, not like Asiwe Jibola Metinubu's administration. It's as if the people are seen as fools. We cannot continue like this. Enough is enough. See the price of food stops, see the price of transportation, and see the price of rent. Yet the salaries are poor and they come in late. They come in late. We cannot continue like this, and we have to do something about this and make sure the government give us a solution, dear youth. We should stand, but stand with an online solution and prioritize so we will be taken seriously and so we will not be taken advantage of by people that have their own agenda. Protest, protest. Yes, we will protest alongside youth leaders that can speak on everyone's behalf. Let's pepper them the right way. Um, I believe that uh, this man, maybe before the day goes, he is going to be arrested. Yes, he is going to be arrested. The government will go and pick him even before the protest. That is what they do. You understand? That is what they do. And those people who are saying we are not going to protest this, this, and this, and that, make us continue to sit down. We just have to throw whatever that happened. This is our life and the life of our children. Or let's say you know they feel the pain. You get enough is enough. And that is the truth. Enough is enough. Many children don't come up for school. They don't drop out for school. Parents don't feel pay school fees. Salary not feel rich to feed uh, children for house, not to talk of, to pay these exuberant school fees again in the university. This is really, really, really very tough. But it's just that this tribalism, you know, had actually separated us. You get, and these are one of the reasons Nigerians will say, some Nigerians will say, no, we can't stay together. We can't be like this. We cannot continue to live like this. There is, not, there, there is nothing living together for. There is no need because we are not speaking in one voice. We are not together. There is nothing you get. 
Honestly speaking, the situation itself, if you don't stay when everything don't burst, you get people they talk, they talk, even God they make God God don't call some persons that time in the Bible. Say, see, you today, prepare your bed today because tomorrow you are going to be no more. And the person will tell God, I beg, I see they enjoy my life. Make I still live small. God changed his mind. And that gave the person long, long, more years to live. Why is it that if they make any decision in this country and the decision is not favoring the poor, the, the, the poor Nigerians, the ordinary Nigerians, they can never change their decisions because those decisions are just for, for their own benefit. It's, not of their, it's none of their business. If you want pie, make you pie. You understand? If you say you don't want to stay in Nigeria again, if you want jackpa, jackpa, our people are out there suffering. This country is blessed. We have evil leaders, bad leaders. These people will steal money and keep that they cannot use. They go steal this money, they go keep them, they go die, come out, those money, they not chop up. Even there are 10 generations to come, they steal money, they keep for 10 generations to come. Is it making sense? Why people are suffering? Enough is enough. You understand? Anyway, those people, why I'm saying this, I am seeing so many reactions here in the comment section. We are not going to protest this, is and that. If you not protest, sit down for your house. You they feel the pain. All of us, they hear nothing, they happen. You understand? <laughs> so now all of us, they feel the pain. If you get anything when they trouble you, when you say, at this particular time, as a Nigerian, this is your right to say, no, we don't like this. You say, no, you're not going to protect. Stay. No, wala. If you go film, if you go film, meet up. Every other person is going to see film, meet up. That is the truth. We just have to stop this and come together. Look at what happened in Kenya. Though that, that protest forced the government to change, its, to, change, to change its mind. You understand? If you don't protest, how would the government know that you are not comfortable with the policies? You are not, you are not comfortable with what is going on. Everybody, we are not protesting, we are not protesting. And you are crying. You are crying. The country, this, this, and that, and all that. You are going to be lamenting in your house, and you are not going to channel it to the, to the proper channel. So who is doing who? If you are not protesting, sit down. Everybody go sit down. And all of us, stay here. You understand? Who go feel survive, go still survive. Now so like be. So that is it. So guys, very, very dark man, I said, though, Date has been picked, July uh, 29 and uh, August, okay, August 5th for this protest to take, you know, to kick off. Now, according to the organizers of the protest, it's for Nigerian youth at least to lay their grievances to the government, let them know that we are not, we are not comfortable with all these policies. We are really going, tall, going through tough time, you understand? If you want to burn some things, burn them so that life will be better for every every one of us. Though our organization, our social cultural group, they don't want their people. They say may they not protest too, because full and knees are calling for protest. They can't they talk say eh, when President eh, Muhammad Buhari was there, the the full and knees not join protest. Nobody should protest against. President Bola Metinibu's administration. My people, now so we the same. This is Nigerian for you. Hey, it is way. I beg, make a drop on for you. Oh, kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you. And bye for now.